Today's podcast is brought to you by Anchor. And if you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, let me tell you, it is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. So download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I can't wait to hear what you create. You are listening to episode 29 of the Welcome to Your Life, Midlife Made Easier podcast. Welcome to Your Life, Midlife Made Easier has been selected by Feedspot.com as one of the top 30 midlife podcasts on the web. Thank you all for your support. Welcome to Your Life is a lifestyle podcast for women juggling midlife, self-care, and work-life balance. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Renee Reed. As a certified health and lifestyle coach, I help midlife women lose weight without dieting. We focus on healing mindsets, boosting self-confidence, and refocusing wellness goals. Are you ready to live the life you deserve? Then keep on listening. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Welcome to Your Life. Can I just say thank you guys so much for supporting this podcast? I mean, we've just been selected by Feedspot.com as one of the top 30 midlife podcasts on the web. Yay! Our voices are being heard, ladies. Midlife voices are being heard. And if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, please do so. That is how we increase our power and get to talk about the issues that matter to us as women of a certain age. So thank you guys so much. Um, I know that... Deep in my heart, I could not have done this without you. So thank you so much. So on today's show, we are talking about how to find a gym that you will love and actually use this year. I know that it is the middle of January and many of you, like millions of Americans all over the country, have decided that you are going to get in shape this year. And I applaud you for that. So how do you find a workout program or a workout facility that fits your wellness goals? Well, I'm going to share five tips with you today so that you will not make the mistake that I made last year. So last year, 2019, my uh, quest for the perfect gym had me feeling like uh, Goldilocks in Goldilocks and the Three Bears. (laughs) I, by the end of 2019, had four fitness memberships. That's right, four. So the first gym that I picked was close to my house. Um, So I could run in early in the morning or uh, stop by after work, Um, but it didn't have classes and it didn't have a pool. So I joined the second gym and the second gym had all the fitness classes that I wanted, um, but although it had yoga, 
their yoga classes were more fitness oriented and not meditative. And that's what I love about yoga. Um, being able to get that really good workout, but then also being able to quiet yourself and um, go within for a few moments after a busy day. Um, this gym wasn't having that. So I found another gym. And the other thing that I wanted was I wanted a gym that also had a play at networking activities. So, you know, parties or fun events for their members. So that led me to my third gym. So this gym um, had everything. It was um, a beautiful facility. It had really nice yoga classes, although still on the fitness side, um, but they were nice. It had a pool and it had um, a lot of networking events for its members. But it was out of the way and I was still in my quest for the perfect yoga um, class. So, of course, I joined a yoga studio. So, by the end of 2019, I had joined three gyms and one yoga studio. Thankfully, all of those memberships ended in 2019. So I want to share with you five tips um, that you can kind of think about when you are looking for the gym of your dreams. And... I know that I don't have to tell you this, but someone asked me the other day, do I really need to work out? And yes, if you're thinking that too, yes, you do need to work out. You need to work out at least three times a week, but the American Heart Association, the American Diabetes Association all agree that you that we all need to be getting at least 150 minutes a week of heart pumping activity. So I know that I don't have to tell you the benefits of a regular workout schedule, especially for women over 40. But um, my mama slash coaching instincts are kicking in. So I want you to understand that putting in the physical work now not only helps you to manage your weight, which is very important, but it also helps you to uh, increase your bone density so that you don't end up with brittle bones or osteoporosis. And it also helps you to boost your energy and increase your immune system. So working out on a regular basis has unlimited benefits for you physically, mentally, emotionally. So you don't want to miss out on getting those natural endorphins going and really taking care of your body. This should be part of your self-care. And if it's not part of your self-care, hopefully these tips that I'm about to share with you will help you to make it part of your self-care. So without further ado, tip number one, find a gym that is close to home. So if you want to work out Early in the morning, you know, 5 a.m., the gym is right, is near your house. You can work out early in the morning. You can go there to get dressed and then head off to work. Or if it's close enough, like my first gym was, you can even go work out at 5 o'clock and then go back home to get dressed. 
But the other thing is, is that you want to find a gym that's close to home because if you miss your morning workout, then you can hit the gym on your way home from work. So going to the gym should not be a trek across town for you. That is going to reduce the your motivation for actually getting up and going to the gym to work out. So find a gym that is close to home. The other thing you want to make sure of is that it has ample parking and ample lighting if you are going before the sun comes out because you don't want to give yourself any excuses for not actually leaving the parking, leaving your car, and walking into the building. Now, the second tip is something that a lot of us don't think about when we're joining a gym, and that is to make sure that your gym membership fits into your budget. It's always exciting to start something new, even a new workout routine. The pull of our bodies to get beach ready is undeniable, even in January. But make sure that the monthly fees fit into your household budget. And read the contract contract, and make sure that there are no additional cancellation fees. You know, nothing puts a damper on your motivation to work out than worrying about how you're going to pay those monthly fees. Also, if your gym fees are being automatically withdrawn, check your bank statement to make sure that you're only being charged the amount on your contract. So, first tip, pick a gym that's close to home. Second tip, check your budget. Tip number three, Pick a gym that has the activities you love. If you want to work out on the treadmill, the bike, or elliptical and lift weights, then a gym like Planet Fitness could be all that you need. I enjoyed my membership at Planet Fitness. They always had enough machines and equipment, even during peak times, um, so that I never had to wait. Um, But I also needed my weekly yoga fix, and that's why I joined a yoga studio. (laughs) So my advice to you is to look for a gym that has everything you need to complete your fitness routine. So a complete fitness routine will have a cardio portion, a weight training portion, and then a a yoga or Pilates portion to kind of elongate and strengthen the muscles using your natural body weight. So look for a gym that has those components and then visit a couple of classes to get a feel for the instructors. As most gyms will allow you to visit, you know, for up to seven days sometimes without actually signing a contract. So really visit the gym to make sure that it has not only the classes you want, but to make sure you gel with the instructor. I went to a spin class once where the instructor, I believe was an ex-Marine and that is how she ran her class. I, that might work for some people, but I really don't do well with people yelling at me to go faster. So um, make sure you check out the classes and find one that you enjoy. The other thing is, is that you want to put your gym workouts on your schedule. And this should be a non-negotiable time during your day. This is your time to work out, to take care of yourself, to clear your head, and to get healthy. So make sure that you're putting this on your schedule. Tip number four. 
So tip number four would be to find an accountability partner. Now, most gyms have personal trainers who will help you to get back into the groove after a long fitness hiatus. But they will also help you to, or also act as your accountability partner while you are trying to get back into the groove. And this will also help you to get the most out of your visit each week. Some personal trainers will even give you a call if you've missed a week. Now, if you can't afford a personal trainer, then grab a friend and pinky swear to help each other to stay motivated and engaged throughout the year. Having an accountability partner someone, is someone who will love you, support you, and give you a little kick in the pants when you need it. This is a surefire way to help you reach your fitness goals. So find someone that you can support and someone who can support you. And my last tip is to check out the culture of the gym. Every gym, like every workplace and church, has its own culture. Find one that is right for you. And to do that, you can ask yourself the following questions. Do you want a gym where you can work out and attend social activities? Do you want a gym that is oriented more towards accommodating the needs of families? Or do you want a gym that is oriented towards adults and children are persona non grata? So if you are a single adult and you want a gym that will allow you to hang out with other single adults, then don't choose a gym that is family oriented. On the other hand, if you are a mom and you have little ones or you have grandchildren that are visiting and you want to can still be able to work out, then you will need to find a gym that has a child care facility or a child watch, something somewhere where your child can stay and play while you work out. You know, the bottom line is that you need to find a gym that is close to home, affordable, has the equipment and classes you need to complete your fitness routine. And you need an accountability partner to help you to keep going to the gym when your motivation starts to disappear. You also want to make sure that the culture of the gym is one that fits your personality and your needs at this time in your life. So make sure that you're doing visits and not just tours, but actually going to the facility to work out, to check out the equipment, go at different times during the day so that you can see what it's like during peak times as opposed to, you know, when it's really quiet. Are there enough machines for you to work on or do you have to wait? So check all of that out. Remember, there are 168 hours in a week. And we owe it to ourselves to take 150 minutes a week to get our minds and bodies in tip-top shape. Let's face it, you may not always enjoy working out, but exercising regularly will help you enjoy your life increase your gratitude level, and enjoy every other area of your life. I promise. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope this episode was um, valuable or had some value for you. I don't want you to make the same mistake I did last year by joining four gyms. I want you to find a place that you love and enjoy. And if not love, at least a place that you enjoy enough to go 
I work out 150 minutes a week. That's 30 minutes five times a week or 50 minutes three times a week. I am also really grateful and I want to thank you guys for your support and encouragement. Our podcast has been selected as one of the top 30 midlife podcasts on the web by Feedspot.com. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. This is how we tell the powers that be that midlife voices matter. I will talk to you tomorrow when we will be discussing how to lose weight by cooking more at home. See you then.